hello guys welcome back to another blender tutorial today i'm going to show you how to erect this type of character the character with separate parts you can see you have the forearm separate the upper all the fingers has been separate so i'm going to show you how we can use the auto rig pro to erect this type of character you can see i have already rec one here so you can see how it works it's not deforming the body the body is not deforming i'm going to show you how you can paint it as a bone without deforming it because if you try to use the deformed bone it will not work so you will see what i'm talking about and erase that part so let's go and do our rig So here I have my character select A, press A to select everything. I will leave link to get this. So you, if you have auto rig, you can try it by yourself. So select A, press A to select everything and go to your rig here. Now I'm going to use auto rig, uh, smart rig. So just click on get selected object and OK. So here I'm going to begin with the neck action and shoulders and this one goes to the wrist and here go to the spine and this one go to the ankles now after you have aligned your landmarks you have to save your scene control plus s to save your scene so let's check these fingers we have only three fingers here so you can see it from this one I have only three fingers which is the index and this is the model and this is the thumb one now we can see the fingers number the default value is five so here i'm going to choose three that means three fingers and this one the default value for the vessel type is one and the spine count the default value is four this character i'm going to choose for a three spine count so i'm going to choose three and three fingers so here i'm going to save it again and click on go so you can see here i choose vessel type one the vessel type one is something used for the fingers so when you choose the vessel type one or you change the values here and then you click on go and now we see that the fingers did not align very well with the fingers you can see the bone did not align very well with the fingers that means we have to change the vessel type and you can see this one it was very difficult uh, to take long time to align this one to uh, the fingers so that's why i saved this thing so we can go to our last scene and save and here i'm going to change the vessel type to two you can keep on changing this value if you don't get correct alignment so i'm going to leave this and click on go so now it has been successfully generated so let's check the fingers we can see now the fingers it did not align but this one look very simple to align by yourself so it's very easy so here make sure you have the s mirror so that it will mirror on this side so use l so l to select that and then grab it here and now we can align it one to the two fingers so we select this part and align it here and this l so grab it So here we are on a top view. Let's go to press limb part one to go to the front. And now we can align this one also on the front to make it perfect. The thing the toes one and the head is good. So let's save this scene again. 
now after that you can click on match trick if you have anything to add again like the secondary control like bendy trace but for this character we are not going to use that one because this is like skirting or robotic character start so you leave that and click on match to rig success now it has been generated now we are going to bind this to the body uh, to the rig so i'm going to show you when we use the manual uh, this automatical bounding feature here so select everything and let's bound and see what will happen good one so let's go to post mode and check so you can see how bad it is how you can see so if you try to do with painting here it will take a long time to do this it will take a long time so you can see and try to rotate the shoulder but when you come to this one uh, the one you can rotate the shoulder separate you can see how the shoulder is rotating and the hands so this is pretty good so you can see how the foot is moving but this one it's very bad so i'm going to show you how we can face all this so let's go to our load scene here so good now with the bender for going uh, instead of layers we have bone collections we have bone collection so we are not going to parent this to this bone i'm going to off the main and the secondary bones and go here and mch base so i'm going to enable this go to the x-ray now you can see our bones here so what i'm going to do is shift select this and this one and the bone so let's go to edit and uncheck this and let's go to post mode now with the forearm select and this one you can press ctrl plus p and choose bone let's do the same for this one and select the arm press the upper arm and choose bone this one too also go to that same And choose control P and choose both. Also, this one will go for the same. Then choose bone here. Choose bone. Now let's go to this on hide this, hide this one. Let's go to all main now here when i move this you can see now the hands is moving with the uh the rig here so let me go and see so now you can see it is perfectly moving you can move this and it will move separate from this the chest you can see this the shoulder so it won't deform the chest so that's what i want and this one too you can see everything is working perfect we can switch it back to uh we can switch it back to ik so fk and still it will work so you can see from here rotate and it will work so here you have to parent the the fingers manually but the fingers is on another layer so i'm going to off all this so let me go back here and use the spray again and the bone select i'm going to off this so for the first one i use the i use mch base but here i'm going to deform yes for the form we will use the deform to parent the, the chest and the stomach and the pelvic bones so i'm going to select this and shift select the bone select the bone let's go to post mode and now select this is the root and control P choose bone this one to go here choose bone and this one to also go here choose bone and the neck go to the neck and the head also go to the head dot X choose bone 
now for the fingers you have to manually assign it to this control p and assign control p and assign that one and this one also go to this bone control p and choose bone now here make sure the fingers will be on the deform uh, collection and for the and for the head and this for the head the chest and the pelvic also in the, the deformed but for the forearm upper arm and the leg and other stuff it's all found here it's all found in mch.base so learn that's back to you so yeah i do all in the left part so now you can see it's moving with it you see the hands with parents it's not working so we can move you can move that bone and all of them will follow along so now you can see the foot also everything is working so let me come here and show this so i will leave link for this character so you can use it to if you have auto rig you can try you can try and see so yeah i need them do this side so that's why that one so you can continue and manually assign it to the bone that's very easy so yeah this is there that's how I made that so you can go continue yes you can see everything is perfect for this character So you can see this character here everything is good so that's how i made it so thank you for watching goodbye